just thinking probably across from there there were probably all these old mills none hardly any have been preserved because they've been knocked down over the years everyone it's a lovely sunny day it's been about a year and a half since I did this this part of the walk uh, or the, the rest of this walk we're on the Wandle Trail this is part three of walking the Wandle Trail I've been joined by my friend Nigel hello we're walking from um, Mitcham up to Mordenhall Park along the river along the, the old industrial landscape and uh, hope you enjoy us let's go flow coming through there one of the busiest rivers in the world this was in the uh, 18th and 19th century many many mills Amazing. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Thank you. you're welcome let the uh, cyclists through just thinking probably Across from there, there were probably all these old mills. None, hardly any have been preserved because they've been knocked down over the years. Well, there were, were 90 of them, apparently. Yeah, about 90, yeah. Going up to Wandsworth, all different industries. Yeah, metal, uh, snuff, textiles, yeah. gunpowder. Gunpowder, yes. Industry still happening. Yes. A lot of industry still on the banks. Yeah. It's a nice little walk, so it takes you right to the Morton Hall Park, then Morton Hall Park you can go up to Merton Abbey Mills, Merton Abbey Mills up to um, <coughs> Top End Merton and then into yeah, Wandsworth. Into Wandsworth. Under a shopping centre and then out into the Thames. Yes. Ringing a little bell on the way. <laughs> and the tidal bell rings from the tides of the Buckland Lower Pit. Bell Creek. <laughs> we must go to one. That was interesting. Wasn't yes. it? Yeah, well, scary, really. The dog's fighting. This guy walking these, these about how many dogs? About, probably a dog walker, about nine dogs. And uh, about. More than that. Actually. Yeah, and a lot of them were not on leads and it attacked another dog. On these people just out with their own single dog. Really freaked the poor little dog out. Yeah. Right, to save going along the boring part, we can go through Watermead Nature Reserve. Yes. Oh, let's see that. Which is rather nice. Walked through here before. heritage of Mitchum. So it's constant noise so it's not really peaceful most of the time. If you look over there, all these old mills, now apartments, probably very expensive apartments because they're close to Malden. Yeah, so a lot of mills have been, there's a nice yeah. one that we're going to come to in a minute. The heritage style there. That's yeah. That's in keeping. In keeping with the heritage. The old clap of all buildings, I think they've been renovated. I think 1800s, early 1800s, probably. Yes, yeah, yes, and in 1780, mm. 1820, that style. Nice, very nice. Yeah, we have a little walk along Ravensbury Park. See if we can see brick house, brick remains of Ravensbury House. I think it was built in the 1700s. One of four medieval manors of oh, Mitchum, Yes, medieval, yeah. Founded in Doomsday, 13th century. Ooh, exciting. I have done videos around here before, but let's go. Yeah. Yeah. As I 
say, oh, there's constant noise, isn't there, really? Danger, deep water, don't go in. Yes. Um, the Luma. You're the Luma. Oh, oh, my Luma is, yeah. Oh, we've got a ringing bell as well. It's exciting. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay, yeah, Ravensbury House site, just the other side of those trees. And there's a bit of an old wall there. Entrance gate, yeah. There's the old mill that we look at. The old Ravensbury mill. Right, go and have a look. Sounds fun. Yeah, so behind here was Ravensbury Manor. It's a fine tree. It's a fine tree. mills preserved here, the height of the Industrial Revolution. Maybe. There could be a nice little plaque to go with it, but there isn't. Belt driven, gear shaft, a big worm gear, black gear, and just goes round and round in this tiny mm. little circle. And whatever was meant to be squished or squashed or ground. Yeah, of course, these are bridge numbers uh, throughout the trail. These little walkways you come into, which are really nice. Yeah, a cup of coffee. So where the river froze, the old mills are now flats. There's the old river coming through with the wandle. Yeah. I wonder how many people who live there actually think know the history. I'm sure they do, they must realise that they're old mills. Well, one would hope so. Yeah. Okay, it's good all the traffic. Yes, goodbye traffic. Yeah, goodbye, we're going into Morden Hall Park now. We'll look at the wetlands, go and look at the ground where the uh, old mills are. Yeah. We'll probably end it here. We've still got to walk back, you see. We have. Yeah. Like Lovely. Just heading into the rose garden, which brings us up to the main entrance. A quick shot of the uh, Warden Hall Manor. The leaves rain down on us. Yeah, we are, yeah. Autumn is coming. Lucky we live in the southeast, so the winter's not really that bad. No. We're quite lucky, we haven't had snow really for years. No, it's only been about yeah. twice. Yeah, and, it, and, and, it, and if, yeah, and it goes within a day, if that. There we go. Okay, I think we do the wetlands boardwalk. What do you think? I think it'll be excellent time Yes, here. it's pretty nice. lovely little viewing areas and look out onto the uh, onto the wetlands yeah. it's really good wetland birds little grebe kingfisher egret yeah really nice a lot of school groups come up here and do um do work i remember doing that in infant school it's great fun coming yes. to these kind of places it just gets them interested yeah it's a chance of actually seeing something mm. it's practical it's it's just fun it's mm. a day out of the classroom yeah get out of your, get off your tippy tappy and come and see some real stuff you know Do you know the difference between a moorhen and a coot? Well, the coot has the white flash on it, and the moorhen has the red flash. Oh. And the way of remembering that is if you think of hens as in chickens, and particularly the cockerels, which have wattles, which are frequently red, 
So red for hen and white for the other one, too. Oh. Use that as an as aid memoir. When you come to Morden Hall Park, so it's just by Morden, you come here by tube from central London, just go off at Morden, walk straight down. Um, it's quite easy to find, there is parking here. You can cycle here as well. You can cycle Plenty here, there's a lot of cycle routes. lanes. All yep. cycle routes turn up at Morden Hall. But they do. National Trust property, but it's all open access, so this is wonderful. Here we are, Morden Hall Park main entrance, water power. This conserve water wheel shows that it may what it may have looked like 200 years ago when the snuff mills were working. Wow. Amazing. Looks at Merton Abbey Mills, it actually is working. Absolutely. Generating electricity, yeah. but working. Amazing. Yeah. So, there you go. Walk from Mitcham, Hackbridge, down to Morden Hall Park. About four miles. About four miles, yeah, yeah we've got to walk back yet. We'll stop here and have a cup of coffee. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. It's been fun. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, please leave a comment and uh, any more information you know about the place. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.